so no expense was spared to make everything as beautiful and uh, representative as possible. You can also see that Stresen is a very green neighborhood. We have this park here on our right hand side and now you can see the four gardens of these houses which are always surrounded by wrought iron fences which were mandatory here in Dresden in a residential area around 1900. It was not allowed to surround a property with a wall. Uh, the, the fences had to be transparent so that the green and the flowers in the gardens would be visible for everyone. It was only allowed to paint the houses in matching pastel colors to achieve a beautiful homogeneous look. But you can see despite of all these strict regulations, it's not boring here. There was still enough space for the fantasy and the creativity of the architects and the owners of the buildings. And so every house was uh, designed and decorated in a very individual way. Upcoming on our right hand side is the tower of a church. And this is the church of the Sacred Heart, which was built here shortly after 1900. This is one of the very few Catholic churches of our city. Today Dresden has um, about 553,000 inhabitants and only 20% of them are still Christians. And most of these Christians are Lutheran Protestants. And that's why we only have very few Catholic churches and congregations here in Dresden. I'd also like to speak a little bit about the history of Dresden in general here. I've already told you that the city was founded back in the 12th century 